Good morning, gang. Happy Independence Day as I record this video for the fourth time for the simple reason I'm having audio issues today, but I'll get it straightened out. Yeah, it's uh, about 6.30 in the morning. I've been up since 3 o'clock doing the same thing probably a lot of you guys are doing as I sit in front of the smokehouse here smoking a brisket. You know, it's my thing I do on 4th of July, so I got three hours sleep. So if I look a little worse for wear this morning, I actually did shower. So that was that was an accomplishment. But happy Independence Day to the 150 million of us that deserve to take a day off. And I know what somebody's saying, 150 million, where the hell do you get that number? There's 335 million people in this country. Yeah, there's about 185 million of them who, no, sorry, get your ass to work today. You don't believe in anything we're celebrating today. Hell, a bunch of you don't even know why we're celebrating today. Get your ass to work. Okay. And somebody'd say, what the hell are you talking about? Well, let me start here. Okay. To all the illegals, get your ass to work. Go pick strawberries, go paint houses, go, I don't know, mow lawns or do whatever you do. Okay. You haven't done anything to contribute to society, to contribute to the reason we have this holiday. Okay? Putting your hand out and say, gimme, 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 is not reason that you get to celebrate our Independence Day. This is the Independence Day for the United States of America. Not of Mexico, not of Venezuela, not of Cuba, not of Haiti, not of China. The United States of America. This is a holiday for legal citizens by birthright or by naturalization. The people that have actually contributed something to this country. Get your ass to work. To all the liberals, get your ass to work. You don't believe in anything we are celebrating today. This is a day of to celebrate freedom and independence Two things that you are against 100%. You want total control of the government. The government needs to do everything. May I remind you, that's what the Declaration of Independence was written to get us to escape from control of a tyrannical government. Not to give us, give control to a tyrannical government, to escape from it. I'll give you this. Ask any liberal what what happened 247 years ago today, okay, on July 4th, 1776. I will bet you at least 95% of them don't know. Most of those people will give you the same wrong answer. Today was the day the Declaration of Independence was signed. And you can look at them and go, no, dumbass, that's not what happened today. Okay. On July 4th, 1776, the final draft of the Declaration of Independence was completed and adopted by the Continental Congress. The Declaration of Independence was actually signed on August 2nd. Just so you can throw something out there when they think you're an idiot, tell them to go look it up. Okay, That's the truth. If they don't know that, tell them that their gender studies degree that got them that great jobs, job at Starbucks along with their $100,000 in student loans was worthless because they need to go back to eighth grade and take their civics class and learn something about, you know, U.S. government. If that's not enough for me to explain to you why no liberal should be celebrating this holiday, I can give you five reasons. Let's count them out of things that liberals don't believe in. I'm going to recite something you probably haven't said in many, many years, but you'll remember it. Five things that the liberals disagree with. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hmm. There's five things right there. Well, you know, we don't believe we're a republic. Nancy and Chuck think we're a democracy. 
because they're only some of the most powerful people in our government and don't even understand how our government works, okay? what the basis of it is. Believing in God? Oh my God, no, we have to abolish Christianity in the United States. We couldn't have something like that. The flag? Oh, hell, if you ain't burning it, you're wrong. Okay. Indivisible? I worship at the altar of Barry Hussein. You know, division is everything we need. All we need, we need to be the most divisive country in the world. Okay. Uh, liberty and justice for all, that would be called equality, not equity. Okay. Means you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic, you're Asian, you're Polynesian, whatever, you know, Pacific Islander, I don't care. The laws apply to you. Everything applies to you exactly the same as it applies to me. Kind of like, oh, I don't know what the Supreme Court just said the other day, you know, that Gee, you know what? You don't get special treatment because of your color. And, oh, I'm sorry, Democrats, you're whining like crazy, you know. Joy Reid, the only reason I got into Harvard was because of affirmative action. No shit, Sherlock, because it sure as hell wasn't because of your great intellect. Okay. But there's five good reasons why a liberal needs to get their ass to work today. If they have a freaking job. Okay? If they're not just... A welfare queen. A lot of people will say, well, why do you uh, celebrate? I don't know. There's a lot of us who have family who's been here since 1776. I'm not included. My family got here in the early 1900s. Oh, why the hell can you celebrate? You, you know what? American citizens earn the right to celebrate today. Some of us served in the military or served somehow, you know, civically or whatever it would be, maybe in government and politics, something like that. Somehow they served the country. Maybe it was something simple like they served their community. I don't know, worked at a food bank or donated to, you know, gave some of their hard-earned money to somebody else, helped their community, were part of something. Maybe they just had a job. I know that's a real hard concept for a liberal to understand. And paid their taxes that supported those people that served in the military or the Border Patrol or something along those lines. You know? Those are the those are the things that we celebrate today. Those, you know, all of us because of what happened 247 years ago, can say whatever the hell we damn well please. Unless, of course, it's on social media, but why would that be? Oh, I don't know, because that's run by liberals. Okay, They want to shut up, shut us up. You can go to church on Sunday. You have that right. Okay? You can walk down the street. You can do whatever you want. You can go to the store, you know. You're not told today's the day you can get butter. Okay. That's what freedom, liberty, etc. is. That's what we're celebrating today. As opposed to, you know, maybe the liberals should be celebrating May 1st, May Day, you know, the Communist Workers' Party holiday. That's along the lines of their holiday. That's not mine. Everybody, enjoy your 4th of July. Enjoy your independence. Celebrate today your ancestors and everything that was done. But if a liberal decides to walk into your party today, tell them to go earn it. Because by what they believe, this isn't a holiday for them, and they shouldn't be celebrating. Have a great holiday, guys. Happy Independence Day. Pinball out.